Katie. Mrs. Bond? Here. Mrs. Duff? Here. Mrs. Gay? Here. Mrs. Grooms? Mrs. Harlow? <laughs> Any changes or All right, well, thank you all for being here on a Monday. I know we're a week early and a day off, but thank you all for being here. Um, first thing we got uh, is the 4th of July wrap-up. Just, um, we thought it went pretty well. Obviously, that rain that came through kind of <laughs> put a damper on it for a minute, or about five to 10 minutes. Um, but I still thought people stayed around um, enough to wait for on the fireworks, so. Um, I know the inflatables, everything was free this year. Uh, we thought it went well. I know we kind of moved it across the parking lot a little bit onto that other side for all the inflatables, which we thought helped us out as far as not being so congested down that middle part. Um, so we, we kind of like that. I was just kind of curious if you guys had any kind of final thoughts on that for next year. Um, maybe a, a band idea also because um, we need to put a down payment this year on a band for next year um, is typically what we do. So if you had any thoughts, you know, we've gone Stranger and then a country band. Is there anything you would want me to look for or ask for in a band? If not, I'll just wing it again. <laughs> yeah, get it. Get on up there. How much you got to yeah, what's your rate? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you did talk to um, Walt. Um, that's with Touch, group Touch. Oh, um, Arthur. Arthur. Arthur Stokes. Arthur. Arthur. Arthur Stokes. Arthur. Okay. You're okay. thinking Wally, probably. Probably. Yeah, well, yes. he's the other guy. There. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, Arthur. Yeah, I've talked to him because obviously for the 60th mm -hmm. next year, we'll probably use him again to find whatever kind of band that we decide for the 60th. Uh, but as far as if I don't have to use him, I mean, I don't, oh, I don't need to, but yeah, I, I would. I mean, he's got all kinds of, you know, he told me he just picked up a Bruno Mars, Taylor Swift band, those kind of things. I don't know if that's necessarily our crowd. Um, but he did say that. He sent me a couple other ones that I, I've kind of looked at. I mean, they're, they're all typical cover bands. A 60s band. So the, you want that for 4th of July or do you want that for the 60th? Because there's going to be two different events. That's going to be for the, for the 60th. Yeah, well, I'll bring that to them. Oh, that's but as idea. far as the 60th, the, as far as the 4th of July goes, is there anything, or you just want me to go at it and just try to find somebody? Oh, I, well, I like Stranger, popular. but I, I, the, the band we had this was very good. They're good, I mean, yeah. They were very, very. They good. actually played more covers than I was anticipating because they do like playing their own originals, okay. and I kind of asked them shy away from that a little bit, which I think yeah, they did pretty well. People yeah, it. people got to sing along with it. So if you don't know their music, yeah. So yeah, I, I can come up with a couple ideas and then bring it back to you for the next one in October, and uh, kind of give you a. Always good because they yeah. do a variety. They do, okay. yeah, uh, but we did have them two years in a row, and then do we want to go away from that or do we not? Uh, I can maybe find a Journey tribute band. I don't know something to those lines, but I think they're they'll be costly, but that's okay. I mean, we got money. Budgeting's coming up at the same time, so. I went to Springfield. Oh. The Seeger really made. good. Yeah. Okay. Was, he was excellent. Really? I like Bob Seeger. Yeah, too. and there were a lot of people there that yeah. were singing along, so I mean, maybe something. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll look for a tribute band of some yeah. sort. And, uh, Journey or the Eagles? Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get with Arthur, and I'll, I'll get a list together, and I'll bring it to the next meeting. How about anything else? The food trucks? 
think we had six, 15 or 16 this year. Um, it looked like maybe one or two weren't very popular, but um, the rest of them seemed to, they made a lot, they told us they made a lot of money, so. We never got out of the tent, so. Yeah, they, they all of them were super happy with the size of the crowd, how much money they were bringing in and stuff, so that was, that was really good on that side. Inflatables, the dunk tank, all those kind of extra things, the carnival, the carnival games that we did, that, you know, it's, the carnival games are kind of. Yeah, I think it was in that back. It wasn't very big, though. It, it wasn't very, very big. I love the slide thing. I just think it looks cool at night, like when it's lit up and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, okay. So we'll see what we can come up with for next year. That was good. It was. It was. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Which and, and that was great. That's good. Okay. Uh, we'll try to. So we'll, we'll try to keep it at that as long as we possibly can do it. So, all right. That's all I got on the 4th of July, unless you have anything else. Okay. Um, so kind of what's coming up in front of us, obviously, is Halloween. We got our Halloween events. We got Boobash, and then we got the Bob Rosencrantz Community Halloween Party on Halloween night. Um, Boobash will be October 12th. Um, our next meeting won't be until October 15th, so after that. So I will do a good job of keeping you guys up to date with what we're doing. And whether it's inside or outside, we still, I, I don't know, we're kind of in the air. But it might have to be outside depending on what happens with this building. So I don't foresee this being to that point where this is being redone, but I, I don't know. I don't know when people might have to move over there. I know they ran a bunch of wires and all that kind of stuff, but we were almost just planning for it to be outside. So, but we'll, we'll see. We're kind of in between right at this second. So, um, obviously, the Bob Rosencrantz will be inside. It'll be in the gym. It's like all the years before, costume contest. Um, and then we'll talk. We'll have a meeting before that one. We won't have the meeting before Boobash, but we'll have the meeting before the Bob Rosencrantz going into the winter. Um, I know right now, Dia, Kelly, and supervisors are making 500 Harry Potter wands. Wow. Wands? <laughs> wands. Yep. That light up on top. They're, oh, su they're hot gluing these sticks in different fashions. They're going to spray paint them and mm -hmm. make Harry Potter wands to give to the 500 kids. So oh, yeah. obviously not every kid's going to get one. Um, with the amount of people that come, but there's going to be 500 Harry Potter wands passed out. That's that's going to be one of the big things that we, we got this year. Uh, I know they're going to try to do uh, another hayride thing, kind of maybe through Wax Park a little bit. I think it's too bumpy through the through the actual woods, so we'll probably just try to keep them on the pass as best as we can um, for that. But I told them don't. If you go too big, it gets to be too much. You don't have it. We don't have the staff to necessarily put on a big production like that. So, especially with everything else that's going on, the trick or treat line, the the wands, you know, all those kind of things that are that are going to be happening. Um, but Dia's in charge, and she's just running with it. So uh, she's she's doing a really good job for us, and she's um, she's very good at event planning. And Kelly's been a very good help on with her kind of stuff so pretty thrilled with what they're doing so uh, candy when it comes to your guys' table we'll make sure you guys have all that you won't have to yeah 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 that's fine um, I know <clears throat> we're gonna try to have a table for every department it sounds like there this year just to represent themselves and represent the city obviously council is gonna be there I don't know if you watch council meeting but we had a in-depth conversation about candy bars. So um, <laughs> if you want to watch it, you'll be entertained for about 10 minutes. But um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, there was a topic for them. Um, obviously, we're just going to do normal stuff, suckers and chocolates and that kind of stuff. So um, other than that, is there anything for Boobash or community Halloween party I don't know what is Halloween what's the 31st on this year 
so they got school the next day. So depending on weather and right. that will Ooh. determine the crowd size. Like the football game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So that'll be really rough. Ugh. Oh, well, we got a year to worry about. We'll figure. Yeah, <laughs> we'll figure that out somehow. So, okay. Eh. Nothing else for that. Okay, on to the master park plan. Obviously, this is a big thing. If you've seen it on Facebook, um, I talked to Brent um, Keith. He's kind of the guy that's in charge of our our plan going forward. This whole process. I reached out to him on Friday. The survey had been out for about 24 hours. We had 101 people already do it within 24 hours. So that's good news. Hopefully that keeps up um, and we keep getting those surveys. 1,500 surveys went out to just random houses, households. <clears throat> it is a longer survey. It's about six pages compared to the two that we want people to do quick or on your phone, scan the QR code. Um, so the the six pages is going out, it's gonna take a little bit to do that, get the information back, get that data gathered and, and put it all into a report for us. But it seems like as of right now, that survey is going pretty well. Um, we are, right now, um, we got staff at West Carrollton ECC, the fourth grade, and over here at the intermediate school um, for their open houses pushing the survey. Um, so hopefully we'll get some more after tonight, and then there's a couple more open houses tomorrow that we're going to as well. So the more data that we can get and gather, the more information from people that we can get, the better this is going to be for the city as a whole. Um, if they don't, it's not going to it's it's not going to work the way I envision it to work. So. Um, I hope everybody takes it serious when they do it, and I hope everybody in the city does it. I hope, I know there's 6,500 people. I hope we see 6,500 plus how many people work in the city. I, I'd love to see 20,000. I know that's unrealistic, but I would really love to see that many surveys done. Over 300. <laughs> yeah, and heck, we might be there after the weekend. I don't, I don't know. I, I was going to try to not bombard them every day asking how many have done it, but I, I'm so curious to know how many people have done it. So I, with the Moraine Connection page and the bannering back and forth that I've seen with our parks and where they're at and those kind of things, I hope that they do, everyone that's on that takes it serious and does it. Because if they don't and they get on there and complain, I don't know what to help, I don't know what to tell them. But this is their, this is their community and this is your community. I hope they do it. So if you see anybody, you know everybody, do it. You guys do it too, fill it out, fill the survey out, um, tell your, Husbands, kids, everybody have it. Have as many people that use our facilities or use our parks to do it. And well, it's going to be my job to make all this come to reality. Yep. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. And it's not like you. We're not telling you you can't, but it, it makes it harder for us to listen when you when you don't. Um, but the master park plan is moving good. It's in a great direction. They were at National Night Out. Uh, if anybody went by our booth, what they were doing was handing $1,000 in fake money that looked kind of real money. And um, they had these different buckets in front of them. And so they gave you 10 $100 bills. And you took whatever you wanted to put your money in, whatever you wanted to do, whether it's a pool, whether it's more programs, whether it's facilities, whether it's whatever they had out there, um, you could put that money wherever you wanted. So I haven't heard back from him how many people actually did that that day, but. I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, so we were kind of over by the inflatables. When they put those inflatables, we were actually even far, you wouldn't have never even saw us where we put our stuff. So when they put those inflatables up, we had to move all our stuff over more towards the levee. You know, it was busy, but. Obviously, out in the parking lot and stuff, a lot of people were out in yes. that area. So we were hoping everyone kind of made the loop of National Night to get over there. Then they gave everybody stickers to put on different pictures of things you would like to see in the city, too. And they know based on how much money that's in those boxes total or how many people have done it. So there's a $1,000, or say there's $10,000, 10 people did it. So they know exactly how many people you couldn't just walk off with the money or anything. 
So I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we'll get that data here soon. And they'll, they'll start being probably at a couple more events. They'll probably be at Boo Bash. About the time Boo Bash is going on to October 12th, that survey is going to end. And then they'll gather that data, and then we'll start the next couple phases after that. going. We're doing good for so far. Any other questions on the Master Park plan? I really don't have much to feed you besides the survey going out, which was the biggest step. And oh. Steering committee and the stakeholder committee or stakeholder group um, have gone well. So everybody's kind of jumped on board with those things. Alrighty. Um, and then last I got is the upcoming parks programs in the fall. Um, the messenger will go out September 1st. Uh, we got a couple cool things going on. Um, we got a uh, Build a Scarecrow event. Uh, we got Coffee 101. Uh, we got Ghost Hunting Talk with Dave Miller. And then we have another reptile or Arrowhead Reptile Rescue Program. Uh, there will, uh, looks like a hunt for Bigfoot. Then we'll, Dave Miller's gonna do a Moraine History Talk. And then we have another program for art journaling. Um, so those are the programs. Uh, Chandler's gonna do a disc golf league He's going to try to do a youth basketball. We've tried the last couple of years and I've never got it off the ground. The ones that have actually worked, you see the NFL flag sign or yard signs all over out there. I think we bought 50 of them and put them around. Hopefully, after last year's open houses, the flag football boosted, the numbers boosted after the, the open houses that we were at. So hopefully that happens again. Um, we are partnering with Dayton, so the kids will play down at Centennial Field which is down at uh, Kettering Fields in, in Dayton, right off the highway. Centennial Field is the NFL pretty much built it, I guess, and paid mm -hmm. for it. It's really nice. It's turf. It's super cool. So the kids get to go down there and play. Um, so that that's a really cool thing. And now we can blend them. So it's not just little – you're playing the same team or maybe three teams in it. You're going to play a bunch of different teams now. So it's worked out. Chandler did a good job. Um, and then obviously one of the biggest things uh, in fall, going into fall, going into winter is the Christmas Smiles program. The application process will start uh, Monday, October 21st. Uh, we do have four different sessions of being open. I think we've done two in the past. We'll have four this year. Uh, it'll be October, Monday, October 21st from 4 to 7, Tuesday, October 22nd from 12 to 4. And then Wednesday from 4 to 7, and then Thursday 12 to 4. So we're given different times and options. It's always been at night. And if you can't get there, you're just kind of out of progress. You're not going to get in. So um, we've opened it up to a couple more times for people to come in and get registered. And then once that's over, we'll start the vetting process of reaching out to the schools and how, how all that goes. Um, but Christmas Smiles obviously is our biggest thing for kids in this community, underprivileged kids, and it's, a, it's an amazing program. So if you have the opportunity and you can adopt a family or adopt a kid, I suggest it. I, I do it every year. Um, I don't, don't have to, it's just it's a feel good thing. So I kind of take my girls out and shop for them and solicit it so I can make the girls understand. Not, you just don't get everything given, even though I do. Dad does. But I try, That's nice. I'm trying to teach them some different lessons. Too. So, um, but really, that's that's kind of it for um, for the upcoming parks programs. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to see, like to know about? I just want to know who won the beauty. Oh yeah, um, I didn't write them down, but we delivered them the other day. <laughs> Uh, Pain Place, one, 107 Pain. Let's see if I can pull them off my head. Uh, the guy that had the presidential candidate in the, in the window, in the door, over by, uh, up the hill by Dave Miller. Charlotte Mill, on the corner of Charlotte Mill, 3001 Charlotte Mill. He's on the corner there. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> you do. They had Donald Trump in the window. 
Yeah, we. You think I'd remember that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You may so, not have seen it. Yeah. And then the <laughs> other one was Valerie. the corner oh, lot. Oh, okay, by Valerie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, by Valerie. And then the other one's the corner lot, um, right across from the street department. That oh, guy. Okay. That, okay. That really, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Actually, this year we went later in the afternoon. Two of the three were home. Um, so I got to actually hand deliver it and talk to them, and they were super appreciative. And I told them it's going to be in the messenger, so if people are driving by, they might just be looking at your yard. Yeah. Don't, like, hopefully they're not creeping yeah. on you or anything crazy like that. So yeah, They've done a lot of work there. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Looks good over there. So, um, yeah, those are the house in the wild. Now we have one more fun and uh, yeah, family fun over. night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when was it? August. Is it next it's at Aurora Everett's. Yeah, it might be next Friday. I don't next know Friday. off the top okay. of my head. Yeah, it's on a Friday. Yeah, it's usually this a Friday. Friday. Oh, okay. So the last yeah. one up at Pinnacle was, they said oh, there's like 50 it. people there or something yeah, like that. So much fun up there. Yeah, that's awesome. So I'm, I had something going on that night, so I didn't get a chance to go. I went to the one at Deer Meadow and... There were some people there, but uh, this one was sounding really good. Are they usually all about the same that they do? Yeah, pretty much. We bring yard games. Uh, City Barbecue donated 10 pounds of pulled pork every time. So uh, Chandler goes and pulls pull, picks up the pulled pork and then brings it. He gets it about 4.30. I think it starts at 5-ish, something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, and we serve it and play games. And I think you guys even got a kickball game going yeah, or something game yeah going. so that was good was, yeah the bubbles was at deer meadow i don't know if they did i think it's coming to this is it, yeah it's coming to this one I don't, it was not it wasn't at the other one so that <laughs> kids love the bubbles right? oh yeah <laughs> so. oh, yeah yeah i gotta go yeah <laughs> yep that's what I got. Okay. Uh, anything else? So the next meeting I have will be October 15th. That's the, is that right? Everybody's good? Yep. October 15th at 5 o'clock. Anybody has anything else? 